Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So our favorite ratchet Florida of celebrities, Miss Azealia Banks, is back on the damn blogs, okay? So what's going down is this. For some reason, Azealia Banks really hates Lizzo. If you guys remember a few months ago, I did a video about her beefing with Lizzo, basically calling her provovial mammy and saying that, you know, she's the mammy archetype. And I basically broke it down as to how, you know what I'm saying, Miss Azealia Banks was the Jezebel archetype. Since we want to pull up historical black archetypes, I named her the Jezebel archetype, okay? So this entire situation is insane. Once again, she's going off on Lizzo. She's fat shaming her. And she's basically saying that Lizzo is now trying to take Cupcake swag. Because as we all know, Cupcake basically quit the industry about two months ago. She said that she no longer wanted to rap. Her heart wasn't into it. And she was going through a lot of stuff spiritually. So she basically decided to fall back. So now Azealia Banks is using that as a way to take shots at Lizzo and say that Lizzo is trying to come in and take Cupcake's spot. Which to me doesn't make any sense because Lizzo is far more mainstream stream and far more famous than cupcake ever was go ahead and check out this video of azealia banks ranting and raving like a damn lunatic once again on social media y'all go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary sidebar i see you fat fucking lizzo i see what you're trying to fucking do you stole cupcake swag bitch and now you all out here talking about i'm female rapper you ain't no fucking female rapper bitch you don't got enough fucking sex appeal to be no fucking female rapper don't let craig calman gas you lizzo you still fucking Fucking a fat, boring. You still a fat, boring hipster rapper, bitch. You're not fucking with cupcake. You're not eating cupcake. And I'm sorry. I know that's really why. That's really the reason why cupcake feeling like she wanna quit because she see her all her fucking magic being fucking torn to fucking shreds by Fat Lizzo. I hate you, Fat Lizzo. I fucking hate you, girl. I hate you for coming out with that floss up your fucking fat ass and really trying to steal from the fucking black girl's cupcake. Because I know the fucking white gays got in your head and was like, yeah, steal cupcake's thing. And now you out here just riding on this black bitch's fucking energy, trying to act like body positivity, you fat ho. No, the public really needs to get into cupcake. And leave Honey. All right, so you guys just heard Azealia Banks going off, just all the way disrespecting Lizzo. This is not the first time she's done this, and Lizzo has not said anything back to her. She's just been ignoring Azealia. It's funny that anytime another woman comes out with, you know, new music or is popping on the charts, here comes Azealia Banks to come throwing shade and hate at them. Now, a lot of folks are saying, well, yeah, she is kind of biting cupcake style. Azealia Banks is having cupcakes back. Once again, you guys, I've been covering Azealia Banks and everything she does for like the past four years. She's not doing this because she has Cupcake's back, okay? If you guys remember, last year I did a video when Cupcake and Mariah Lynn got into it because Cupcake did not want to perform at Cardi B's um, Fashion Nova party. Um, she got an invite, but she felt like her set was going to be cut, so she didn't want to do it. So Mariah Lynn felt like Cupcake was being ungrateful because at least she got an invite to perform. So they went back and forth. Azealia Banks out of nowhere jumped in the fray, you know, trying to have Cupcake's back, quote unquote, against Mariah Lynn, you know, who's the white girl rapper. But then we found old video of Azealia Banks basically trashing Cupcake. So everything she was saying about the whole Cupcake and Mariah Lynn situation was totally disingenuous. Just like what she's saying about Lizzo trying to copy Cupcake and trying to act like she has Cupcake's back. Totally disingenuous because we have the video of her dragging Cupcake. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, so Azealia Banks is not a friend to Cupcake. She's just taking this opportunity to shade Mariah Lynn. Y'all go ahead and check out this video where she's clowning Cupcake. I have this one girl that I know and like her titties are just the worst. And every time I see the titties, I'll be feeling bad because I'll be like, yo, this bitch is like really, she's like a really cool girl, you know, like. I shouldn't be thinking bad things about her, but titties just make me so sad, you know? They just be, like, pointing down to the fucking ground. And they little on top of that, so then they be wearing, like, her titties are just so little and sad. And then she'd be trying to wear, like, you know, all the clothes that we wear and, you know, whatever. Stop body shaming. We'd be wearing, like, see-through shit, whatever. But it's like, sis. Like, what the... Like, have you ever seen somebody make a balloon animal? You know them long balloons? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
You know the Dude. long balloons that be like a little like funny. Yo, hot cities be looking long and like. Yeah. like oh, seriously. Then they be having like the long balloon animal titties under the fucking like five dollar see through shirt from pretty girls, and the nipples just be real fucking like you know pronounced. Like real pronounced nipples, like press nipples just pressed up against the mesh, you know. And like Shorty be thinking she cute too. She be like smart trying to smile. She be like, eh, 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 like sticking her tongue on her mouth, tongue be white coated, like bitch. Bitch got a mermon on that tongue, honey. Ah. No, but for real, don't stick your tongue out unless you check it first. You gotta check like for all kind of bacteria, all kind of everything. Because yeah, like we go through the day, your tongue gets coated. That's why I don't stick my tongue out all the time. But a lot of y'all girls be sticking your tongue out and it be cold alright so you guys just saw that video so like I said this entire situation is insane I'm not shocked this is what Azealia Banks does she does anything for attention you know she's always throwing shots at people always just being super disrespectful but once again I bring it back to wilding out okay she has all this energy on the internet she's the biggest keyboard gangster you know what I mean IG gangster out there but then when it comes to clapping back in person she's lost for words and she he starts crying and you know bringing up colorism and all types of goofy shit. My boy Nick Cannon is so petty. How petty is he? He couldn't get caught to me, so he gotta sell you ugly ass. I just say that was very anti-black. We are not no colorism here on this. Get him back. I mean, the, the whole situation is insane. Why does she not bring the same energy to wilding out against DC Youngfly as she does to people on social media who are not checking for her and who have not said anything to her? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. But once again, it's Azealia Banks. So what do you damn expect, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation with Azealia Banks once again coming for Lizzo and Lizzo continuing to pay her no mind, okay? Silence is the biggest weapon. Honey, silence really pisses people off. Move in silence. Don't address birds, okay? When you're a queen, you never step down your throne. Let bitches throw shit at the wall and throw tantrums and scream and throw shade while you continue making your money, getting your bag, and making those moves, Lizzo. Continue paying her no mind. Continue focusing on your career. Meanwhile, she has no career and she's struggling for relevance, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.